cars aren't your ordinary rides, obviously. Instead, these are the creations from teams of super smart students and engineers from around the world, competing in the part science show, part race, called the World Solar Challenge. Each team has to design and build a solar car completely from scratch, and then race it 3,000 k's from Darwin all the way to Adelaide, battling wind, fire and mind-melting heat along the way. But we especially train our pilots on that within a sauna up to 55 degrees, and now they're actually performing really good. There's three different categories, the Challenger, Cruiser and Adventure which all have different rules and regulations, but share one thing in common. Lots of panels on the top side of the car absorbing energy from the sun and converting it into electric power to drive the wheels. The idea for this futuristic event is actually from a long time ago. It came from these two, Hans Tholstrup and Larry Perkins in 1982. Tholstrup was an adventurer, keen to find different ways to power cars, because he was worried that fuel would eventually run out. So he teamed up with racing driver Perkins and built this, the Quiet Achiever. The following year, they became the first people to drive from Perth to Sydney in a solar car. And a few years later, in 1987, invited the rest of the world to join in. Such an incredible opportunity to uh, expose the whole world to the possibility that everybody can drive down the road on sunshine. Back then, solar power was pretty unusual, so the teams were doing groundbreaking work. 36 years later, the cars are still pushing boundaries. We developed, for example, our own motor, which is even more efficient than a motor of Tesla. So we, as a group of 20 engineering students, succeeded in beating Elon Musk, and we are actually really proud of that. Cars in the Cruiser class were also part of CSIRO experiments along the way, and then judged on how they stack up as normal, everyday cars at the finish line. Speaking of which... I'm here at the finish line in Victoria Square in Adelaide, where many people have turned out to watch some of this year's 31 teams wrap up their journeys. The first car across the line was Infinite from Belgian team Inoptus, who also won the last solar challenge in 2019. We had a very good battery, a very good solar panel, and every team member uh, gave itself more than 100%. Things didn't go to plan for everybody, though, with strong outback winds halting many races near Cooper Pedy. But for the ones that made it here in one piece, it's a massive achievement. I think the coolest thing about them is that they will never run out of fuel. The design of it's kind of cool, like how like it's not like other cars, it's like unique. It's an awesome field to get into, especially in Australia now, and the challenge it will help improve and uh, put solar cars on the road in the future. 